Hi Silicon Beach! I'm with Mark Karzan. He is the CEO of RelishMix. And RelishMix is a really interesting platform where they take social data and they take the marketing and turn it into marketing intelligence and then that is used for entertainment branding. And the, the background behind this is going to be really interesting because Mark's background is incredible. He's done, been nominated for multiple Emmys with major networks and social media and marketing campaigns and whatever you need to drive that social marketing online, um, this is the guy. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got started and how you saw the need for Relish Mix and exactly what it is that you're doing with it. Well, thanks Jude for having me on your show Thank in, you. uh, in sunny Southern California. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today. Yeah. Um, I came out of uh, television in New York. I worked at NBC for a long time. Uh, at Saturday Night Live and Late Night with David Letterman and early days of MTV and Showtime and lots of cable when cable was really taking off which is kind of what's happening all over again years later but um, and then I have been involved in lots of uh, launch campaigns so over the years I've worked on uh, fall campaigns for networks lots of launch campaigns for TV shows marketing campaigns for feature films at studios and trailer shops. So I've been on both sides, the marketing side and the production side. I've actually pitched and uh, sold a TV show of my own, which was exciting um, and quite a process. So, uh, you know, what we bring to the table is understanding, you know, what goes on at the studio and the network level in terms of their needs and their stresses. and. Um, the volume of content that they have to wrestle with. So um, about uh, two years ago I was running um, digital marketing campaigns on a bunch of different TV shows um, and social media tracking, trying to help the production companies and the networks understand you know, how these different moving parts were performing um, and then even more than that, you know, how to report that. And we couldn't find any tools that uh, did that well across multiple platforms. I mean, there was you know, a little bit of Twitter tracking and some Facebook tools, nothing for YouTube. Um, and so we decided to build our own. Um, and so that's what Relish Mix is. Relish Mix is a cross-platform um, content management tool that uh, helps you plan and roll things into the future and figure out, you know, what's effective, what your awareness is, um, depending on what department you're in at the network or the studio. So it gets very complicated very quickly when you when you look at any given show or movie that has, you know, hundreds of different digital and social media moving parts. You know, what is working, what's performing, what's taking off compared to the competition and then it becomes completely out of control with thousands and thousands of moving parts. So that's what we do. We collect the data, we package it, and we report it. So, uh, Mark, uh, how is this in any way helping maybe the evolution of movie tracking? Is, is that something that Relish Mix takes part in? Absolutely. And we're, we're involved in a bunch of different projects um, at different levels of marketing campaigns. but. Um, the reinvention of the tracking system is obviously something that every studio is looking at. Um, focus groups and exit polls and email questionnaires, which have been used over the last you know, 10, 20 years, are now being uh, revisited in a big way. And social is you know, certainly an obvious you know, opportunity to do that. Um, the ability to, in the same way with television, to collect this gross and large volume of data as it's happening and as content's being uh, distributed and then redistributed um, domestically and then internationally. That's something that we've really refined. Um, so we have a huge amount of traction in that space. Um, but you know, for the studios, for them to understand who their audience is, where they are, what they're responding to can help you know, then make decisions in terms of media buys or maybe creative switch ups or find, you know, time on different networks um, because they find that there's a different audience than they thought. 
So in another tool for listening to online chatter, that's kind of the buzzword this year is social media is listening. Right? Yeah? Everybody's listening. Everybody's listening. Seeing what's going on and shaping it for that. So. so you pretty much go into all the social media platforms as well as whatever is just out there online in general and, and scoop it all up, kind of put it in one place, and then that, that's analyzed in order for them to see whether it's going to be consumable friendly or that they're targeting the right ideas. Well, here's what we've seen over the last year and a half especially is depending on who we're sitting with, everybody's got a different question. Let me give an example. Who have you, who have you worked with? Well, uh, you know, uh, TV, um, programming, and marketing executives that are um, doing promotions on a show that hasn't aired yet, well, you know, there's really no data to, to, to collect. Um, and so cross-promotional tools and techniques using, obviously, I mean, all of these things seem obvious, but when you start adding up the, the layers and layers of content, and the time it, it becomes, takes to do that. It yeah. becomes extremely overwhelming. So sure, you can follow a Facebook page and see how it's growing, and you can, you know, collect hashtag, you know, you know measurement, um, and you can watch a YouTube video or two or five. Um, but to see an overall trend and how content is growing and how it syncs up with marketing calendars and release dates across different departments, that's where things become extremely complex, and that's that's. You know, that's the problem that we're solving is putting it all in one place. So, is that, a, a, do you have a special program that does that? I mean, did you invent something that helps it, you as a, your own SEO, basically, for? We have, uh, we have a platform that we've created uh, that searches for content, tracks content, um, and, and compares content. So, you can compare any TV show across any network uh, in sync with another. Um, so a show on ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, oh. or the CW, you can see how these shows are performing across Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube in real time. And the same applies to movies. So we're tracking every movie going backwards uh, about a year and a half, two years, and into the future. So studios can see how a release for this coming Christmas is tracking compared to the other 10 movies that are coming out that same week. Excellent. Now, this is just for studio executives. I mean, if I was a writer and I wanted to write a movie or think of a TV show, can I use your search engine for my own research? Absolutely. And what... Um, you know, development execs, you know, who are sort of looking at ideas, who want to keep track of, you know, whether it's, you know, talent, uh, that's an obvious, just keeping track of talent mm -hmm. who you think may bring something to the party with their social reach and their influence. Um, and also, um, if you're a production company and you're looking at how networks are promoting shows across social networks just to see what works. To, to get a feel for how you can create social content that pr promotes your show. That's a, a, a useful mm. you know, opportunity. And what we've seen over the last few years with some, especially TV shows, that have taken off on s across social networks, you know, there are very clear pinpoints of how content's being promoted and distributed across these different platforms. Scandal's the new poster child of a show that has you know, turned to social as a way of finding an audience um, and then obviously feeding and fueling them you know, in between you know, while on hiatus and leading up to you know, fall season. Um, they're they're um, sort of rewriting the playbook on that. And so producers were seeing are becoming more savvy to that. I mean, so many, so much of what we talk about is like obvious, but challenging. It seems obvious that a producer and talent and writers would get involved in this. 
um, sort of tactic, but it's it's just hard to do. But the other thing is getting the network to you know trust that you can handle this properly. You know the networks now send out um, do's and don'ts lists to uh, talent uh, before shows go on the air, telling them exactly what you can and cannot do in your social media. Just yes, yep. here's what you can and can't. You should not post this. You can't, you know, <laughs> when in doubt, That's don't. That's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, because, you know, you don't yeah. want to give things away. Right, yeah. You know, yeah. storylines, yeah. which, yeah. you know, are big trigger points. Yeah. Um, you know, brand situations. So, you know, the the sophistication um, at, the, at the network level in terms of managing producers, but also producers knowing how to manage the, the network to get their way across... Um, social platforms. So there's, there's a big give and take. Well, I think Relish Mix and what you've created is pretty much the epitome of what Silicon Beach is. It's tech meeting Hollywood. And that's what I think makes this area special, makes what you're doing special. Thank you for telling us all about it. Uh, check out relishmix.com. And thank you very much, Mark, for being on the show today. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you.